It was a packed house here in McCook. A lot of Bears jerseys, right? But also a lot of love for native J.J. McCarthy. We'll get to that in a second, but we are the home of the Bears. So let's listen in to the reaction to our number one pick, our new QB. Caleb Williams, our new QB, the crowd here at the Stadium Club at the Max in McCook, couldn't be happier. This was not the surprise of the night. This one we all kind of saw coming and hoping this new young blood will get us some wins here in Chicago. We got to put everything into this kid. I mean, if, if the Bears focus on football with this kid, I think we're going to be all right. I mean, he left two school. He left uh, Oklahoma to go to USC to become, you know, a stud that he is now to get number one draft pick. I trust Ryan Pauls. I trust what he's doing. I trust what he's doing right now. I trust what he's doing when it's the ninth pick and the next few days to come. You saw him on stage when he got drafted. The guy going crazy, letting out a big scream. It makes us Bears fans probably really happy. I would, let's, let's play tomorrow. Can we bring Green Bay into the new stadium? Can we have that built by tomorrow and play the Packers or what? I'll make a phone call. Thank you. That was very nice. I'll give you the quarter to make that phone call. I'll be sure to make that phone call right after this. So, of course, we're all very excited about the, the top two Bears picks. But here, this crowd really got jazzed up for LaGrange native J.J. McCarthy. Listen to that crowd roar. The 21-year-old quarterback making a name for himself here in the suburbs as a kid playing at Nazareth Academy, then moving to Florida to finish his high school career. Now from Michigan to Minnesota, Casey Moran, his former offensive coordinator. You are quite proud, my friend. I am very proud. Today is a great day. It's a great day to be a roadrunner, as we say. How long did you coach him? Uh, I, I've known him since he was in eighth grade, so his freshman through junior year. In eighth grade, did you know? Uh, it was it was pretty apparent that he was special very, very quick. Um, yeah, I think we knew that he was different very early. And uh, as time went on, um, he just separated himself more and more. So this has been a long time coming. Uh, this is something that he's wanted for a long time. And uh, we've been praying for him. And uh, it's a dream come true. It's a dream come true. And so deserving. Yes, for sure. No one deserves it more. Uh, beyond being a great athlete, he's a great young man. Uh, humble, hardworking, great student, great person. He is on the Vikings now. He he is on the Vikings now. I know you're wearing a Bears jersey. Um, and I think that's a great spot for him. So uh, I'm really happy for him. I think it's going to be a great fit. Uh, and, you know, I, I'm a Bears fan at heart, but I'm, I'm going to have to cheer for J.J. a couple of times a year here. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. As a co is he going to recruit you? Uh, no, he, he won't. You going to the Vikings now? I, I'm not. All right, real quick, our number nine pick. We can't overlook that. How do you feel about the Bears' number nine pick? Awesome. I think the Bears did a great job. Um, I think it's exactly what most people expected, and uh, I think they're moving in the right direction. So it'll be exciting this year. Overall, a good night. Overall, a, a very good day. All right, guys, we'll send it back to you in the studio. It was a very fun night out here in McCook. It was a little stressful at times. It was. A little stressful. We we didn't exactly know when J.J. McCarthy was going to go, but he went at number 10. We're all very proud. We'll send it back to you guys in the studio.